Hey guys, hello everyone. Uh, Valeria Kushner here from Dabalab at dabalab.com. Today I want to give you a little idea and a little overview uh, of Adobe Photoshop versus uh, Sketch by Bohemian Coding. Uh, a lot of people know Adobe, a lot of people know Photoshop and InDesign and Illustrator and tools like that. And obviously Adobe has been around for a long time. Uh, there are many people that love it, many people that hate it. Uh, but what's important to know for us uh, while we're trying to build our software and mobile apps is that Photoshop is really not the best tool for the job. Uh, over the time, the Photoshop started out being as a, a photography for, tool for professionals to really do some really great editing. I mean, any, any magazine cover that you see uses Photoshop uh, to add things, to remove things, to change colors, to change shapes everything. Uh, Photoshop is extremely, extremely powerful. As you can see here in the video, we have all these different buttons, different panels. They do all different things. I mean, even if here, you know, the tools are triple and double stacked and things like that, there's a ton going on here. Um, when, you, when you're trying to work with a UI, it's, it's just a very bogged down tool. You end up using only probably 10% of, of its capability, but because there are so many things in it, it just becomes so sluggish and so slow. Uh, and uh, in fact, Adobe is actually finally developing something that will come out uh, from their factory and will compete directly with Sketch. Uh, so you can use Photoshop to your prototypes, you can use uh, Photoshop to your designs. Uh, however, there is a much steeper learning curve and it just requires a lot more to know and it's not the best experience for uh, our mockups. Sketch on the other side is a lot simpler, it is a lot newer, it is designed specifically for one purpose, user interface design or user experience design. Uh, it was created uh, about three or four years ago now by a small team, uh, and uh, they're really fulfill fulfilling a void for uh, UXers uh, for a tool that really makes sense, that is not bogged down like Photoshop, and um, still is vector, uh, still has uh, very powerful capabilities. Uh, you, you know, you can do pretty much everything that you would want to do um, for your uh, UI prototypes, whether it's coloring, vectors, everything like that, it, ha it has it all. Uh, the only limitation really, at this time for Sketch is the fact that it's not available for uh, all the platforms. It's only available for Mac currently, and um, it costs a hundred bucks too. So it's a you know it's a little bit of an upfront investment right off the top. However, once you start working with it, it's really easy, really intuitive. Uh, I mean, if you sit down and you actually give it a try, you probably can figure out most of it in about an hour how to use it. Uh, yes, you have tools here similar like in Photoshop, but it's kind of more similar to tools that you would find in the Microsoft Word or any other word processor document. It's very easy, very intuitive. Uh, if you hover over any tool, it gives you a highlight. Uh, they have a fantastic database on their website, uh, how to use this at sketchapp.com. And overall, this is just a much better tool for prototyping. Uh, it's a quicker way, way, it's more stable than Photoshop, and it's a lot, lot faster. If you guys have any questions about how to use Sketch, uh, please let us know, and uh, we'll talk to you further. Thanks so much.